Hi, and welcome back to Dell Technologies World. I'm here today with Gil Schneerson, our SVP for the Edge Solutions Group, and we're going to field some questions that we've been getting live from our, our viewers. So the first one is, I keep hearing that businesses are focusing on the edge, as that's where the majority of growth is happening. Can you help me understand why the edge and why now? Why the edge and why now? First of all, I think um, a lot of people out there kind of know because they're already struggling with problems at the edge. But the bigger picture is this. There is technology that enables collecting data at the edge. There is software defined technologies that allow us to train models um, in cloud. And there is real life problems that we cannot solve unless we move compute to the edge for real time decision making. So a lot of people move compute towards the edge where they've never done this before, or even if they have done it in much, much bigger scale than ever before. The next one, why can't I just use the same things that I have in my data center or cloud to manage the edge? I know there's a lot of reasons for this, but maybe we can name a couple. First of all, you can, and a lot of people do, but none of those products that we have today were designed for the specific problems that we have at the edge, right? They may be perfect for manageability, but too expensive. They may be hard to manage remotely. They may not work if you have an intermittent network. They may not be secure enough, or they are designed to be managed by people who know what they're doing. In other words, it's very hard to find something that was designed with all of the specific constraints at the edge. And so while you can do it, it's not the optimized solution. Yeah. The edge is kind of its own beast, right? And something purpose-built is needed that's native to the edge. So the next one is, my understanding is edge is all about getting more data and insights. Can you help me understand how can this benefit people's business? So um, we're talking about, for example, a um, cold chain example, right? You want to get ice cream from the cow for the factory, from the factory through the ship to distribution center. Every point along that way, we benefit from sensors and cameras um, in compute and connectivity and we collect data and that data is almost the only thing that we can do to um, improve our supply chain and reduce costs and enhance customers experience. Um, so that availability of data and the ability to make decisions real time is a big deal. Mm -hmm. We are able to do much more than we ever could do before. Yeah, and just to imagine that at scale, like in the retail example you just used, to be able to do that at thousands of stores in multiple locations, all at once, right? consistently, it's really a big feat. I totally hear you. All right, so our last one today. I've been hearing a lot about the edge recently. It sounds like I could use this, but how do I get started? Where should I start? Wow, <laughs> this is a big question. Um, where do we start? Well, it really depends where, which industry we are. Um, what is it that we're already doing? But for the most part, I'll say this. If you already know you have to make real-time decisions and you already know that it has to be at the edge, my advice is to think about it ahead of time and think about your strategy. Versus what, what ends up happening in many times, people buy every solution separately and they end up with a very complex problem to manage. And so I can't tell people you know, why they want to move to the edge or why they're here to solve problems for people who already decided to. But I can tell you that thinking about an architecture, about the ability to consolidate and then simplify and optimize your operation and secure the whole thing, if you have those things in mind, you're probably going to make the right choices. Yeah, taking a really planful approach to designing your edge estate is so important. And I think that will help to avoid some of these snowflake flake solutions that we see out there today. All right, Gil, well, thank you so much for being here with me and I'll see you all soon. Thanks thank again. You.